Hi, this is Omaso on YouTube. Hey, dear entrepreneurs, are you looking for a way to boost your small business to the next level? Well, today I'll be showing you how to apply for the Smedan Sterling Bank Loan, a fantastic opportunity to access funding and support for small, medium enterprise in Nigeria. The SME Smedan Bank Loan is an opportunity that is raised by the Federal Government of Nigeria and launched to the 3rd of November 2023. This video is a guide on how you can be successful in the, your, uh, your application process. If this is your first time of joining me on YouTube, please do well to like, subscribe my video. If you do so, you also click on the bell notification so that you get instant updates on recent opportunities that will boost your business. We we'll also give updates on uh, visa sponsored job opportunities to various countries. And so that is why you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please do well to watch this video to the end. But what is this Madame Sterling Bank loan about? The Smedan Sterling Bank Loan is a government backed initiative designed to provide financial assistance to MSMEs in Nigeria. This, is, this loan offers competitive interest rate, flexible repayment option, and a range of additional benefits to help your business growth. And who is eligible for this loan? Everyone is eligible, as long as you have a business, uh, uh, you have a running business. And again, eligibility depends on the type on the type of business and the area with which you are, are trying to uh, apply for. Uh, what are the benefits of this loan? Apart from the financial support that you get from Sterling Bank and SME DN, they have other additional benefits. One, business development support that uh, will give you access to valuable advisory services and training. Uh, you also have mentorship opportunities and then connect you with experienced mentors and industrial experts. We also have market linkages, opportunities to connect the, with other potential customers and buyers. Uh, however, we are going to dive into how you can apply for this. Alright, now when you uh, visit the Smedan website, which is in the description uh, below, but let me just show you so that you see it. You see uh, smedan.gov.ng forward slash smedan sterling and slash. So when you just go there, it will take you to this place. I'll put the, the description in the link below so that you just click on it and it will be easy to be easier for you. To take you to this place, you can see, you can see my screen. You can see sterling bank small and medium enterprise development agency of nigeria so you can see the con the text here let's read the text and see welcome to the small and medium enterprise development agency of nigeria smedan loan application form the streamline application is your gateway to financial support however whatever you are starting sorry whether you are starting a new venture or expanding your business this form is designed to make the loan application process efficient and accessible so you can just quickly go on begin to apply and then it takes you to this point where you fill the form now this is the point where you need to be very careful so that you can be successful in order for you to be to be successful you need to watch this video to the end please don't forget to like subscribe and give us a thumbs up so that others can also view and uh, get access to the video uh, so what you do here is um here you have seen that it has to do with your name the middle name very important this point that is that has asterisk uh, uh, areas where you must feel and then your gender marital status you put on your email address put on your phone number you, you put on your state your residential state that is this residential state means that the place with which you reside, not necessarily your state of origin. So if you are, let's say you are from uh, Adamawa state, 
but you reside uh, 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 at Lagos. And so you are going to put your, the place you reside in Lagos and not at Amawa State here. So your residential address is the, address, the current address where you live and your BVN is very important. And then also your NIN. Uh, you put your NIN and then you registered business name. The name with which you used to register your business. And this registered business name should be not your Smedan registered business name, but your CAC registered name, not your Smedan. Please, if you use Smedan here, it will not be accepted. And then you see your CAC number, here you input your, your number, your CAC registration number. And then you come down here, you get to see your uh, the type of your business, business, sector of business you're running. If you are running an agricultural business, you're running a manufacturing business, technology, FMCG, you're running an entertainment, hospitality, mining, and any other business, you just have to put it there. The registered business address. This registered business address is the business address that is registered in your CAC. That address that you put in your CAC, you need to put it here. And then also the num number of employees. Please, this place, this area is critical. Do not in do not submit uh, or fill this place uh, say is she, the highest you should, you should select here is 6 to 10 because if you take more than that they will expect that you are no longer a small business the business has gone up uh, above a small business so you just take 0 to 5 or 6 to 8 that is the secret and then you choose the amount you want to apply for yes you can choose between 1 million to 2 million. Don't take the lowest, don't take the highest. That is, is it. And then you could your loan purpose. What are you going to use the loan for? If let's assume you are running a fish a fishery, a fishery business. So you can just highlight the things you want to buy. Let's say you want to buy a generator set uh, so that you could be used to pump water. You want to buy some finger legs, you want to buy feed, fish feed, you want to expand your pond. This you need to itemize them here. But don't tell them you're going to use this this loan to start up a fresh business. Maybe you want to start up your pond, you want to start up by constructing your pond, or you want to use this loan to pay for your staff or pay for uh, uh, debt you are owing. Because that is, these are the things that will disqualify you. And, and that is that. And then after which you click. Actually, you've seen that the application process is very simple. And straightforward, so it's nothing that you should be uh, worried about. Just follow the process that have been discussed in the video, and then you will be successful. We pray that you get the loan. Uh, uh, you'll be the first uh, 1,000 persons that will be selected to uh, get the loan. And then don't forget to like this video so that others will have access to it. And then do not also forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we also always keep on updating you, uh, uh, whether it's a loan, a grant or, or uh, a job opportunity a visa sponsored job particularly you uh you get access you get quick information the same information is power so to get this information please always follow us up and you win